good morning students today we have to do the introduction of mixtures so what are mixtures mixtures are actually the pure substance mixtures are pure substance which is composed of elements and elements elements and compounds and compounds and compounds okay then the components of mixture are not mixed in a fixed proportion for example you and your friend your friend likes more sweet and you like less sweet taste so if you have uh, you are set to prepare a glass of sugar solution so what you will do your friend will add 2 teaspoons of sugar in one glass of water and you will add only 1 teaspoon of sugar in a glass of water so this proportion is varying what are the constituents of the mixture over here sugar and water but it is not mixed in a fixed proportion your friend is adding 4 teaspoons you are adding 1 teaspoon so it is not mixed in a fixed proportion then components of mixture is physically coexisting together there is no formation of chemical bond like chemical bond is formed in what compounds so they chemically react with with each other and chemical bond is formed but in case of mixtures they can physically coexist together then components of mixture is capable to retain their properties for example the sugar solution again the sugar is maintaining its sweetness and the water is maintaining its fluidity so both the components is able to maintain its property in the mixture so that is why the components of mixture will be able to retain its property now we have to see about the definition of mixture so what is mixture first of all mixture is the impure substance which is composed of two or more substances which are mixed together in any proportion okay and they do not undergo chemical change who do not undergo chemical change the components of the mixture okay so they physically coexist together and the constituents of the mixture will retain their individual properties so this is the definition of mixture that mixture is the impure substance it is composed of two or more substances which is mixed together in a which is mixed together in a in any proportion and do not undergo any chemical change and its constituent will retain their own properties so this is the definition of the mixture now we have to see what is the constituent of mixture so mixture the substances which forms the mixture is known as the constituents of mixture the substances which will form the mixture is known as the components or the constituents of mixture now here is a list and in this list it is shown that air is a mixture sometimes in the justify the statement type of questions it may be asked that why air is a mixture okay so why air is a mixture so what are the constituents of air first of all air contains oxygen air contains nitrogen air contains carbon dioxide air contains water vapor air contains dust particles and many other gases so first is written constituents of air is capable to retain its property air is having oxygen and what is the property of oxygen that oxygen supports burning oxygen supports supports burning so in air oxygen is retaining its property that is why we are capable to burn any substance nitrogen is highly inactive and it delimits the activity of the oxygen it is also maintaining its property over here then carbon dioxide it is maintaining its property and that is why the carbon dioxide extinguishes fire 
as well as carbon dioxide is utilized by the plants for the process of photosynthesis water vapor also retain its property very common nowadays if you take out a frizz of uh, bottle bottle from the frizz filled with cold water and keep it on a table what you observe after few hours on the surface outer surface of the bottle few droplets is formed so what are these droplets these droplets are of water so water vapor condenses over the cold surface and gets this into water droplets so water vapor has maintained its property over here dust particles also maintain its property over here so all the constituents of air is retaining their own properties and their proportion is not fixed how you can say if you will visit to forested area okay the percentage of oxygen will be more if you will visit to the highly urbanized industrial area with so many vehicles so that place the level of carbon dioxide will be more okay so in this way the composition or the constituents of air is varying from place to place it also varies from time to time like rainy season will have higher amount of water vapor whereas the summer season will have less amount of water vapor so the proportion of the water vapor in the air varies it is not fixed okay and the constituents of air can be separated by fractional distillation method okay so this is how air is a mixture not a compound then you have to identify here from the list that what are mixture and compound so just now we have seen air is a mixture water is a compound water is a compound if only water is written if tap water is written or river water is written or sea water is written in that case water will be the mixture sugar is also the compound okay salt is also the compound but milk is a mixture air is a mixture tea is also a mixture but alcohol is what compound honey is also a mixture it is composed of 181 approximately sugary substances soil is also a mixture glucose is also glucose is a compound glucose is a compound okay so glucose is what compound now kinds of mixture so in our daily day to day life we observe many substances and some of these substances obviously look like mixture and why they look like mixture because we can see their components like sand and water so such type of mixture in which we can see their components such type of mixture is known as heterogeneous mixture okay and some of the mixture does not look like mixture we cannot see their components such type of mixture is known as homogeneous mixture okay here types of mixture on uh, there are two types of mixture heterogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture hetero it means different homo it means same so when you can see the different parts of the mixture it is known as homogeneous mixture sorry heterogeneous mixture when you can see the different parts of the mixture it is heterogeneous mixture and when you cannot see the different parts of the mixture it is homogeneous mixture now recapitulation of what we have studied today so we have studied that mixture is an impure substance it is composed of two or more elements and compounds elements and elements and compounds and elements okay then it can be broken down into sim, uh, down by simple physical means like distillation evaporation filtration okay no chemical change takes place substances are held together by physical forces and the properties of an element in a mixture is retained here you will add that it is the properties of an element in a mixture is is retained okay is retained clear yeah. then 
मिक्सचर इज वॉट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू और मोर प्योर सब्सटेंसेस इन विच ईच प्योर सब्सटेंस रिटेन इट्स इंडिविजुअल केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज यर टू मिक्सचर्स आर देयर दिस इज लाइम वाटर दैट इज सल्यूशन ऑफ लाइम एंड वाटर नॉट लाइम वाटर एंड दिस इज मिल्क दिस इज ऑल्सो मिक्सचर एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो मिक्सचर दिस इज ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू एवरी वन